Fuck you, I was about to say what? Really? This soon? What? The, no way! No way! This soon? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You need only believe in your own destiny. Oh there god, there's the actual force. gameplay, dude. That begs the question. If he's a man mama, Oh god, there's actual the real gameplay? What the hell? Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, sir Arisen. Praise be! For only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! Holy hell. The wind is pushing me! Oh, 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 is this a co-op game? Oh. Uh, are we gonna finally get Dragon's Dogma online? I need details. Oh shit. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 key art. Damn. Look how fucking hot this cat chick is. <laughs> uh, going back. <laughs> Okay, Dragon's Dog with two screenshots. Uh, okay. Hello! Oh, cool. Uh, looks like kind of similar areas? Same world, maybe? Right? Like, same... same world? Yeah, same kind of story here. Uh, yeah, as soon as I saw, like, a griffin at the start, I'm like, wait, is this Dragon's Dog with two? Uh, cool. Cool. Lots of shit going on here. This looks great. God damn. Yeah, they have Mr. Arisen, right? This is the same sort of Arisen guy because there's a creative character. Um, damn, who the hell are you? Uh, damn, look at this hot fucking cat guy. Holy shit. Can't believe it. He's so pretty. Uh, let's watch the trailer again. Let's see the 4K version of this trailer. We were talking about this not that long ago. How, like, after we were playing Breath of the Wild, or Breath of the Wild 2, we were saying how, man, if a new Dragon's Dogma came out and it learned a lot of lessons from the previous one, and obviously a lot of elements from open world games and, you know, Breath of the, a post Breath of the Wild situation, imagine how crazy a modern day Dragon's Dogma 2 would be. And it's like, huh. Uh, that it seems like, yeah, if they, if they, if Capcom really played their cards right, they, they could have here what they originally wanted Dragon's Dogma to be, which was kind of Capcom Skyrim, right? Kind of like Capcom Skyrim. It looks really similar to Dragon's Dogma 1, though. You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Of course. That begs the question. If he's a mere mama... Then where might our true Arisen? Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, sir. More like Capcom's Oblivion. Me, yeah. Only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Dude, I wonder if this is going to be playable at, like, Summer Games Fest. And it's pawn stuff. That is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Abrupt end. Um, cool. Yeah, it does look cool. I mean, Dragon's Dogma is a good game. 
it's a fun game with with great action systems it's like if we can get a proper large scale re engine game uh this will probably produce some pretty insane shit yeah they're riding the griffin in the first scene they are uh they're like on the back of it which might be a traversal thing later on yeah but that's my only gripe with this it looks great but it looks a lot like Dragon's Dogma 1 with better fidelity. You know? It looks like a... Instead of like a huge expansion, like a... It, it looks a lot more of the same from, from the previous one. And... I think that's a good thing for people that, you know, like Dragon's Dogma. But they'll... They'll have to... Marketing-wise, you know, show this off as far as being like something different. Because DD1 was was good, but it wasn't like a complete game. Like it, it, it felt like a lot of shit was missing from it. And it's got a lot of cool ideas, but ultimately like tries to execute those ideas in some ways that are awesome. And then other ways that are like, oh, I don't know if this all comes together, right? Uh, and it is, I I'm looking forward to seeing what eventually it plays like, because if anything, the gameplay is the most profound part of Dragon's Dogma 1 from what I recall from the, the the part that I played of it you know I didn't play the DLC um I don't think I, just, I didn't think I had the interest to, to jump in and play more DLC I finished Dragon's Dogma 1 yeah I, I finished the main story but I didn't Dark Arisen came out and I really wasn't intrigued enough to, to fire it up again and then we tried playing it on PC when it came out and something about it just didn't grab me the same way it did like back in like 2012 so we'll have to like sit down and give it a shot at some point like sit down and actually like invest some time into this shit um because everyone says dark arisen's a lot better yeah every everyone does say that uh i'm kind of surprised how similar it looks to dd1 just much better re engine style fidelity these forests like uh, uh you, you, here, here's here's a big one where's this shot Where's, where's this shot? Did I miss it? I did. I think it was in here, right here. Dragon's Dogma 1 in a nutshell. <laughs> right? This shot right here, I was, I was kind of surprised. The night is still dark as Fuck, this is DD1 in a nutshell. I can't see shit! We need fire arisen! <laughs> like, that, yeah. So I'm surprised that they're like willing to go in that direction. That like, yeah, the, the night is crazy. Wolves hunting packs arisen! <laughs> like, all that kind of shit. Anyway, kind of surprised, right? I'm kind of surprised how similar it looks in so many ways. <laughs>